Hi, Sarah. Good evening to you. A lot of people we spoke with today say they feel like they have no choice but to spend hundreds or even thousands of dollars on their utility bills right now. But there are a lot of ways that you can save money, including with the help of places like the Community Action Agency of New Haven. It's very expensive. Simone Wilson is a United Illuminating customer. Like most others, her bills have skyrocketed. It was in the thousands. As a new mom, that's just not doable. I was very overwhelmed with everything, and I was so blessed to get assistance from here. Wilson is getting assistance from the Community Action Agency of New Haven, now paying her bills on time and in full. We work with people who are mostly uh, working in low-income uh, jobs who fall behind sometimes in paying their bills. Amos Smith says because of the high cost of utilities right now, about 20% of their clients have run out of money and are doing without. Eversource and UI say the cost of those bills is out of their control, impacted mainly by the war in Ukraine. Our standard service, we procure it from energy suppliers and do not control the cost. But there are ways to save money. In the short term, the Community Action Agency helps with energy assistance. In the long term, there's a program called I Heart My Home, created in 2020. This program facilitates free one-on-one -on -one home energy counseling and audits to help renters and homeowners make improvements that help lower your utility bills. You can also switch companies by going to EnergizeCT.com and shopping around with no penalties for making that switch. There are substantial savings that uh, ratepayers can expect from switching for the next few months. It could, be, it could be hundreds of dollars. But if you're looking for a place to start, start here. Take it from Wilson. I feel a lot better, a lot happier, a lot less stressed. Now, on top of the help being offered here, UI also announced at this press conference today that they'll be hosting an event on Wednesday of this week. That'll happen at St. Luke's Church right here on Whaley Ave in New Haven from 4 to 7 p.m. They'll be helping people sign up for their assistance programs as well. We're live in New Haven. Julia LeBlanc, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station.